Oak on Route 24 in Lewis. To place your deli or carry out orders, call 302-945-0700. 843. We have the Philly captain live on the hotline right now. Check him out on YouTube. So you were talking about, you know, the key is like consistency to keep up with your channel, right? So- yeah, consistency. That's, that's what keeps the YouTube algorithm uh, pleased. Two videos a day in a live stream, and they, they give you more impressions, which means more people get to see the opportunity to click your video. What's the key to getting, like, a lot of views and more uh, just the consistency or is it, like, the titles or the hashtags or, what? like, like what's the key? People, it's, it's, I, uh, most importantly, it's topic, I find. So, okay. like, when I go go to Kensington, that's an automatic 10,000 views. Wow. Um, I, but I, I'm, I'm, I, there's, there's, like, people who just make videos in Kensington. And it's just so – it's such a bad spot. I can't do that. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. You just you just you make your videos and you, you post them and, and you, you you make sure it's, it, the, the thumbnail is important and you use keywords. They have keywords you have to use to have people look up your videos. So use good keywords, have a good uh, thumbnail, and, and then you just pray to God people watch. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Nice. That's awesome. So uh, I, I got to ask you, the, talk, talk to us a little bit about the Fandemic crew, uh, yeah. how you got involved with that. Was that you or did you kind of just like, because I felt like you were like one of the faces of the Fandemic crew. I, I I was there the first day the Fandemic crew was born. Matter of fact, I, I was the loudest member of yeah. the Fandemic crew. I saw you first. on TV a couple times. Sure. Yeah. I'm a loud guy and I wear kilt. People like kilt. <laughs> and uh, I, 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 you know, whenever I go to a Phillies game, I try, if it's nice out, I wear a kilt because we're at war. We must win the war. Yeah. Uh, but the pandemic crew. So I went to the game with them and uh, they were very nice people, very quiet. They're off to the side, those guys. Um, and then they came back the next day. I, I got, I had, I had a few things to do, like anything else besides another baseball game when, when you couldn't even see it. Right. But those those guys um, are, you know, they, they're, they deserve everything they get, but they worked really, really hard on it. I, I guess I'm, I'm an honorary member of the pandemic crew. I was there one night. When yeah. the well, look for out. people for people who don't know what that is. Uh, you know, we, we're big Phillies fans. You know, so uh, when you couldn't go to a baseball game, you know, they're starting to let fans in now. But before, when nobody could go, uh, fans gathered outside of Citizens Bank Park and cheered on the Phillies, no matter what. You guys were always there every home game, and right at the game. gate. And away games. They were there for away games because the broadcasters announced that the stadium. That's all. You're right. You're right. Wow. Insane. Those guys are insane. Um, but they're, they're friendly, friendly guys. And, uh, you know, they, they, they're, they're, they're really, really nice guys. Um, and the, I, 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 I can't be affiliated with them because sometimes when I go to Phillies games, uh, I, I, I'm a little mean to the visiting players. Oh, and, you are, right? <laughs> yeah. I heckle the – like, I, I'm not – they like to keep everything G rated. Yeah, but you're yeah, hey, but you're from Kensington. You got an excuse. You're a Kenzo. Yo, I we I, I can't stand five feet away from another player from another team and not yell at them. I have to yell. <laughs> yeah. So every game when I go to a game and, and I I vlog every game I go to. I got I got like uh eight more games I'm going to in the next month. Uh every time I go to the game, I go down to the bullpen and I heckle the players. And I leave. I love it. Uh, I love yeah. it. Man, that's awesome. How, how do you think the Phillies are going to uh, end up, you know, turning out this year? I know they made a couple uh, a couple changes. You know, they brought Oduble back up. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, uh, you know, Reese is hot right now. Bryce Harper's hot right now. How do you think, uh, you know, everything's going to pan out? Eh, they'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a li- 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 little nervous about the Mets. A little nervous about uh, Atlanta sometimes. It depends on I- uh, how they're doing. It's, it's, it's weird with baseball because you can't really tell how a team gels in April. The weather outside is cold. Yeah. The pitching is, you know, the joints are tight. So Philadelphia baseball in April, you can't really, it's not a good way to get a thermometer or to get the temperature of what the team is. Um, and I, I know the season starts in April, unfortunately. But uh, I, they look okay. They, they need a few things. They yeah. always need a few things. Yeah, talk to us. Uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, your going back and forth. Now, I don't know if he's actually officially responded yet, but um, Dave oh Portnoy. Got to oh talk boy. about Dave Portnoy. Dave uh, Portnoy came to Philadelphia last year. This this, this guy, he's a sleaze bucket. He's the worst. <laughs> he's the worst type of human being. Barstool Sports. 
Barstool he, He's sports. the worst type of human being in the world. He's a type of human being that values money over human life. Okay. And I, I hate people like that. So Dave Portnoy, this guy from Boston with his Boston accent and his ugly face, he goes on YouTube or Twitter, whatever, and he starts talking about how he's the captain of Philadelphia. And, 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 and I, I, I lost my mind. Like, how <laughs> I know. I, I remember seeing that. And I'm like, why is the Philly captain like so upset about Dave, Dave Portnoy? Because he's, he's the worst. He's the, if he wasn't the worst human being of all time, I would <laughs> care. I literally, I can't. I, I he's. I, I don't know. I really don't know much about. He ate pizza. He took a bite, and and then that's all I knew about him. And then apparently he's a big sports mogul. Well, look, I ain't got time to watch everybody on the internet with an opinion about sports, uh, especially when it's it's, it's, a, it's a guy like Dave Portnoy. So I just I don't know who he's just annoying. He's an annoying guy, I, and I just don't like him. And, and I think people think he's cool. He's he's the worst guy of all time. Nothing <laughs> cool about Dave Portnoy. <laughs> Now I know you've done a couple rants about him on uh, on your on your channel. Has he responded at all? Have you gotten any no, kind of response? No, he doesn't even know I exist. Okay, Hopefully, all right. Just asking. Hopefully one day I'll see him walking around the street. Now I always have two video cameras in my pocket at all times, just in case I lose one. And yeah. if I ever see Dave Portnoy on the street, oh, will it be the greatest video I have ever made? <laughs> Yes. Well, uh, you know what? That that kind of reminds me because there was a video that I saw that you did uh, a while ago. The, it, what was it? I, I'm not. I can't remember what landmark it was where somebody was up there taking donations and you had an altercation with them. There was at the Rocky statue. That, that was the Rocky statue. Yeah. The Rocky statue was the number one tourist attraction. Absolutely. At the, at the, the number one tourist attraction in the city. It's the the reason why it's, it's number one tourist attraction. It's open 24 hours a day. Um, you know, you're, you're, you don't need a ticket to go in. It's open. You go, you go, you take a picture. You right. Go. Now, there's these people who stand at the Rocky statue, and they, they, they take your phone off you, and they take a picture of you, and then they say, oh, you owe me $5 now. So I, I caught a lady doing that with this long line of tourists. And I said to her, I said, yo, I don't want you ripping off tourists in my city no more. And she said, uh, you know, I, she said lots of things that I can't say on the radio. <laughs> right, and, right. Uh, 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 fun fact: The Philadelphia Police Force cracked down on that. Now, uh, they, they, people cannot no longer take money off people at the Rocky Set. Yeah, oh, nice, good, good. Nice. Yeah. So they were up there acting like they work for the city, like they were doing that as a service or something, like they worked the, there. The lady had like a fanny pack and a green shirt, and she was acting like she was working for the art museum. Yeah, the Philadelphia yeah. Museum. yeah, what? Yeah. And, yeah, and I went into the museum and I said, "Yo, what are you doing? You got this lady doing that." And she, they said, oh, the city owns the Rocky statue, so we can't do it. A lot of people passing the buck. Well, All guess, guess what? It. The Philly captain, never fear, the Philly captain is here. <laughs> That's right. Uh, when, you, when you hear the word, here we are! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, all right. I, I have two. So before we wrap up, I got two suggestions uh, for sure. uh, some shows or videos. Uh, yeah. Number one, you should do a whole parody on Dave Portnoy. Uh, one bite, everybody knows the rules. Go around to different uh, Philly pizza joints. Okay. 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 That, that's just, yeah. you, you know, that, that's just a suggestion, whatever. But, but, you know but what if I you could do instead of doing one bite, I'll do the whole pizza because one bite's an insult to the pizza. Well, I'll say all that. Yeah, yeah. And then you can do commentary on all that if you want right. to do a bit or maybe do a video going around to different uh, pizza joints. The other thing is. Since you are in Philly, you know, what's better than talking about cheesesteaks? You got to go around and, and, and review some cheesesteak joints. Absolutely. I, I do do that now. But uh, just in case any of your listeners are listening, and well, of course they're listening. That's what they do. Uh, <laughs> John's Roast Pork in South Philadelphia has the best cheesesteak in the city. Really? Which one? Which one? John's Roast Pork. Okay. That, the the cheesesteaks are so good, they don't even advertise. They advertise the roast pork. But it, they're a James Beard winner. The bread is hard, and it's the best sandwich you can have in the city. The bread, the roll is, is one of the most important. It's, it's The bread makes the city. You yeah. ever go anywhere else and you see a place make a Philly cheesesteak, like if you go down to Washington, D.C., and they make a Philly cheesesteak, and you got it. The bread's horrible. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's got, it's got the bread's it. That's it. Yeah. I get the sandwich. I usually throw it at the person who sells it. How dare <laughs> you call this a Philly cheesesteak? I'm a Tony Luke's guy. Okay. Uh, Tony Luke's is all right. You know what's the thing about Tony? He makes his own bread. 
you know, think about this. In Philadelphia, we all know about each cheesesteak place and how who makes what bread, who got that. It, it's it's kind of insane how much we, we uh, uh, cherish our food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, look, one more time, uh, the Philly captain, for people who want to check out your YouTube channel, want to follow you on uh, possibly other uh, social media platforms, how can they do that? Just um, the Philly captain on Facebook, the Philly captain on Instagram, uh, the Philly captain on Twitter, and more, wait, just, just do the YouTube. I don't really do social media. I'm not really good at social media, but I do the YouTube. And they say YouTube social media. So yeah. I, it, it's like a basic cable TV station. Yeah, right, right, right. Constantly updating. So, hey, before we wrap up, one more time, give me a here we are. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, Philly Captain, thank you so much for checking in, thank my man. You. And we got to have guys, you back on, hopefully, this. maybe maybe in studio sometime. Oh, dude, I love it. I got to tell you, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. <laughs> I love just, it. Seriously, I love it's it. my first interview. I'm, I'm thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, have a good day, my man. All right, guys. Toodles. Bye. Are you ready to take it or leave it? On the Philly.